Ooh, that's a good bass. Good bass. Oh wow, that's a good one. Oh wow, that's a that's a decent one. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Well, guys, welcome back. And today I'm on the James River going after some smallmouth. And if I catch a keeper, I'm going to cook it up a little bit later. So enough of me yapping. Let's get to fishing. Tried the top water for just a little bit, nothing. So switching over to a paddle tail. And I got, you know, a variety of baits. So we'll just see what they want. And then probably just stick with whatever they start biting. Guys, got one. Got one. Smally, I think. Oh, oh, it got off. Rats. It actually wasn't that big, but hey, I, I actually got a bite, so I'm okay with that. Guys, that's a good fish. Stay down, stay down. That's a good fish. No, no. Stay down. Stay down. That's a, oh, come here, come in here. Yes. Ha, <laughs> ha. That's not the right kind of fish. That's not a smallmouth. Well, guys, here we go. First bass of the day, but not a smallmouth, so I'm going to let it go back. I think that's either a largemouth or a spotted bass, but that's awesome. It's not a very big one, but I'll take it for the first one of the day. Get him back in there. Thank you for biting. Go on. I ended up fishing for like four hours and only caught a few small bass, barely got any bites, and no smallmouth. So I knew I had to do something different. But what I've done is make a move, and the dam you see behind me, I actually fished up two of that this morning, but I didn't catch anything really up there except some dinks. So uh, my best bet I figured was come down here for smallmouth, because smallmouth love current, and there's plenty of current right there and right below the dam. So hopefully we can get on a few here and maybe a couple nice ones. All right, I'm gonna start throwing around a paddle tail. See what happens. I do have a, uh, oh, what do they call it? A tube tied on too. And one or two other things, but probably ma mainly use the paddle tail. Guys, there we go. There we go. That might be a small mouth. There we go. Not a big one, but hey, it's a fish. Yep, that is a small mouth. There we go. First small mouth. Well, there we go, guys. The first small mouth is not a big one, so I'm going to let him go. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That actually feels like a decent one. <laughs> decent one. Two fish right away, guys. Decent fish. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, that's a decent large uh, small mouth. Come here, buddy. Get in here. Yes, that's, I think, a keeper. Yes. Here we go, guys. My first decent small mouth of the day. And they, they, I can't keep any that are 14 to 22 inches. Uh, I can keep one over 22, but uh, 14 to 22, I can't. So let's see if this thing's under 14, which I believe it is. Let's get it out here. Let's see. Yep, that is 11 inches, so I can keep it. And I'm going to because I'm going to cook it up. Well, guys, that's awesome. That's actually perfect eating size, so I'm going to get them on the stringer. But that's great. Hopefully, we can get some more. Ooh, that's a good bass. Good bass. Woo! There we go. Another decent one. 
All right, here we go, third one. And it's not big either, but it's about the same size, like 11 inches, and I just measured it. So I'm gonna keep it too, make sure I have enough for a meal, and we'll cook them up later. And hopefully I can get a, I'm gonna let all the others go, even if it's a big one, but uh, hopefully we can hook into a big one. Well guys, that's awesome. After going like four hours up there and hardly catching anything, it was discouraging, but I already got like four bites down here. That's great. And plus they're keepers, so I'm gonna cook them up later. They're gonna be delicious. It's just sitting in the water <laughs> and a small mouth gave up and grabbed it <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy i just had it sit in the water look at that thing well goodbye get on back down there Ooh, decent one, decent one. Decent fish. Come here, buddy. <laughs> it actually is not as decent as I thought. Pretty small. It looks like a, either a large mouth or a uh, spotted bass. Thing's fat. Oh wow, that's a good one. Or at least it feels like it. Has to be a small mouth that they hit like a freight train. Come here, buddy. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Yes. Woo! Well guys, here we go. Biggest one so far. Probably about 14. That is great. I'm gonna let them go because I got those two. That's all I need. So Woo! I'm stoked. That thing hit like a freight train. Small mouth just hit different. I love it. Get him back in the water. Thanks for biting. Oh, that's a that feels like a decent one. Feels like a decent one. There we go. Stay down. Oh, I had my GoPro on. Whoops. All right, buddy, stay on. That actually don't feel bad. I but that small mouth always fight harder, so might not even be that big. But oh wow, that's a that's a decent one. That's that's a decent decent bass. Come here, buddy. Come here, stay on. Woo not a huge one but it it's, it's decent all right come in here oh shoot yes uh oh no don't go in there okay as i'm about to flip because i'm on a rock how do i find myself in these situations all right let's take that that's a nice nice bass well here we go guys i think this might be the biggest one of the day i just measured him he's about 13 so that is awesome I'll get him back in the water, but you know what? We are getting on to some, and I, that's a better one than I thought I might would get on down here, so that's great. I'm going to get him back in the water. Come on, buddy. All right. Get on back down there. Thanks for biting. Tell you what, those smallmouth fight so hard. They're so fun. It's great. All right, let's see if we can catch another one. Well, nothing else after that decent small mouth. So I got everything loaded up. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is actually head on to where I launched this morning, the boat ramp. It's actually a park and it has some uh, like picnic tables and stuff like that, it's pretty shaded. So I'm gonna cook up the bass there. But I tell you what, getting that kayak up this hill and all that gravel was a chore. Tell you what, if anybody ever tells you fishing is easy, have them watch this video and subscribe. Well guys, you're not going to believe what happened. I got everything set up, everything, all my stove, all that, getting ready to cook. And I went to light the stove and I forgot I lighter, but I always keep a lighter with me. So I was like, yes, I got that lighter. And I did, but the problem is it don't work or it's empty, one of the ones. So <laughs> I'm kind of without anything to start the fire. And so what I'm probably going to do, I don't really feel like loading everything back up, running to a gas station somewhere, 
because I'm three hours from home and then coming all the way back and it's getting late in the afternoon so what I'm gonna do is head on home and then I'll cook up the fish tomorrow at the house so unfortunately such a beautiful evening I was wanting to cook out here but uh, if you hear some noise there's a playground over there but yeah that's what I'm gonna do of course I forgot a lighter of all the things oh well well what I decided um, I was really wanting to cook down there by that river but since that didn't work out and you know sometimes I cook at the house but I didn't really want to do that I wanted to keep it outside I decided to come over here to this pavilion or picnic area that I have access to and I'm gonna cook up the fish here and what I'm gonna have is smallmouth bass wraps and just saying that makes me hungry all right what I'm gonna start off with is this right here and that is just uh, mushrooms and then green peppers I'm gonna cook that first and while this is cooking I'm going to actually uh, be working on some of the other stuff just cooking it in butter. Let that be sizzling on there. All right, what I got here, this is just egg and milk, or just a little bit of milk mixed together. Put that in here. And add a little bit of salt to it. Don't be too much. And then what I got is Louisiana fish fry. And that's what I'm going to dip it in, the fish. Just do quite a bit. I don't need too much. All right. Here's the fish right here. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Just beautiful white pieces of meat. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on them. Don't want to put too much, but just a little bit. All right. Then just dip it in here. Over in here, well, there goes my towel. Look at that, gorgeous. Then I'm just gonna put that over here. And do the next one. Look at that, don't that look good? I am excited. All right, let's get this fish in here. This is, pan is kind of bowed up in the middle, so all my oil went to the side, so I'm just gonna place it in the side. Yeah, I might have had a little bit too much oil. Oh well. I'm not the best at cooking, but I like to cook. And I burnt my <laughs> my uh, mushrooms a little bit, so I probably won't have the mushrooms. Just the uh, green peppers, and I burnt them a little bit too, but hopefully won't do the fish like that. All right, let's get the tortilla on here. Just get it a little bit brown, that's all I want it. Good. Look at that. All right, guys, look at this fish. Doesn't that look delicious? That is amazing. Now, I actually got cheese, lettuce, cucumbers, and then those green peppers that I pretty much burnt. But hey, they should still taste pretty good. So I'm going to put the cheese first and then just pile it up like that. I actually don't need too much. Do the disgusting looking green peppers they should taste good though all right you know what I'll put the lettuce on yeah I'll put the lettuce on top oh man this fish looks so good I'm just gonna pile it on there well it's gonna make it too much to close I can see it does plain all right there we go a couple of cucumbers on there Woohoo, this looks good. Alright. A few pieces of lettuce. Then some Duke's tartar sauce on it, just to top it off. Alright, come here. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, I'm gonna pray real quick, and then we'll dig in. All right, this looks just amazing. Wow, mm, I'm ready to dig in. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I didn't overfill it, so that's good. I can get a big bite. Mm. 
Oh my word, no paper towel. Wow. Mm. That is amazing. Sorry, I'm talking my mouth full, but it's so good. Mm. Wow. That's probably one of the better ones I've ever made. That is awesome. Mm. Might have burnt the mushrooms, but it didn't matter. That fish, I got perfect. Mm. And with everything else on there, wow. Well, guys, that is amazing. I know I keep going on about it, but if any of you that watch Cook Up Fish, try that Louisiana fish fry from Food Line. It is amazing, but... Had a great time out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.